Cheating in the Duelist Cup. Not only first place, top 10, second place, multiple people cheated. There were third party hacks. There were exploits with turning off crossplay, which, by the way, I don't want you to be offended if you're an Xbox gamer. This is about playing against yourself, playing against your friends, playing against a limited pool of people. Let's get into this. Hajime. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Let me extra clarify this because a lot of people are upset about this. I'm not calling you bad if you play on Xbox. I'm not saying that. You have to understand that this is a global Duelist Cup event where first place potentially gets an invite to Worlds, though Konami has discontinued Worlds for the past three years, but if they announce new Worlds, first place could get that invite to Worlds. So this is a global competition. If you play on Xbox inherently with the default settings, you play against everyone, you're fine. You're a true Xbox gamer, that's great. But there's an option to turn off your crossplay, which then disables you from playing people globally, which could be fine on the casual ladder or the ranked ladder. Even so, that's a little messed up that Konami even allows that. There was a botting problem in Master Duel, so turning off crossplay allowed you to avoid the bots, but, but then the bots have been dealt with. And even then, in the Duelist Cup itself, you should not be able to only be able to play against Xbox players. Now, again, there's something wrong with that inherently, but there's more layers to it. When you then manipulate it to only play against your friends, when you then manipulate it to only play against yourself on an alternative account. Another level of Konami's incompetence with this, of even allowing crossplay in the Duelist Cup, is that if you have crossplay turned off, apparently you only play against those players on Xbox with crossplay turned off, meaning. Xbox players that don't have crossplay turned off are not even in your pool of players, further decreasing the competition of who you're playing against in a global event. Now, there could be unsuspecting players that didn't know about this and they did not intentionally cheat, but Konami's going to be the one to investigate on whether they played their friends or alt accounts. Let's go. I feared going into stage two that there would be a major exploit. I fear there'll be a major exploit. This was about four days before the event raid started on the 19th or the 20th. I fear that there would be an exploit for stage two that's currently in place for stage one. How do I know it's in place for stage one? I've seen Reddit pictures and I saw in the Discord, people are sharing screenshots of only playing against an Xbox player, only. So what that would look like is something like this, but it said Duelist Cup. So, we know for a fact that it does, and, and what's even funnier about this is, look, we're playing against the same person. Can you see that? Yeah, Sa Jerry! Sa <laughs> Jerry, what the hell? And the duel is ending on turn one. So we know this at least happens at ranked duel, but I was seeing it for the duelist cup. It said duelist cup and all Xbox. Now this person sharing the photo on Reddit, I don't think they were cheating. I think what they did, they just turned off cross -play. So what happened is there was a lot of botting in Master Duel and the bots were on PC. So all the console players switched themselves to take off crossplay, And those were the legitimate players that just wanted to have a good time playing Master Duel. They didn't want to play against bots, understandable. The bots have now been dealt with. They've been put on bot island where they're only dueling each other. So if your account is accidentally marked as being a bot, you may find yourself playing against 20 bots in a row because you're accidentally listed as a bot. That's happened. You will get out of it though, if you uh, play normally and, and or contact Konami. Now, I feared that this would happen for stage two. So I, I discussed this fear and I didn't know if I wanted to bring attention to it. So you could think it was a mistake that I didn't discuss this earlier or make a video about it. I kind of regret not making a video. I think maybe I should have brought attention to it, but I, I literally learned about this probably around this day, which was literally a few days before the cup. So I didn't want to give people the chance to prepare multiple dual level max accounts, which would be a lot of effort to do and or get their friends ready on Xbox to duel each other. Uh, so he says probably don't unless the issue itself becomes public info. So I, I don't know, maybe this uh, it's Dulling's fault. Why I didn't make the video uh, blame <laughs> Dulling. Console players for the Duelist Cup as it stands right now could change their settings to only play versus other console players, not even Xbox versus PlayStation. Literally Xbox versus Xbox. Well, then this happened. <laughs> First place Xbox 
followed by eight China in the uh, seven China players and one Jap Japanese player, uh, two Japanese players, that is. Wow, uh, Xbox is the number one country. Good job. Well, I didn't really know too much about this, but apparently a moderator in the main Mastodon Discord, it wasn't me, I had nothing to do with this, we banned this person from the Discord. I didn't know why, I didn't know anything about it. And if I look in the ban log, it says banned for cheating. Apparently this guy was bragging about cheating. He's bragging about cheating in the Discord. I'm not saying this player cheated in the Duelist Cup. This video's main purpose is for Konami to properly investigate this, okay? Konami, check if this dude played against only Xbox players, all right? I don't think it would be hard to do. And apparently second place, if you translate their Chinese name, the second place name is literally, do you lock slash turn off the Xbox crossplay? So we have second place, do you see Xbox in their name? They are even accusing the first place player of doing this without even knowing the, the information we have on first place. So there's a lot of suspicion that this is what's happening. Now Gera is the first place player. It's kind of rude accusing me for cheating when I just play the game like others. You admitted to farming wins with an alternative account. Gera, maybe it's hard to believe an Xbox player is actually good. <laughs> Does anyone believe an Xbox player is good at Master Duel? Does anyone actually believe that? But there's some out there, some out there, right. So when you turn on crossplay, you're only playing against the some amount of players when it's supposed to be a global competition. Yeah, I did when the exploit was out to farm gems. So this dude is potentially saying, I definitely did cheat previously, but I did not cheat this time. And I never bragged about it. But you can't play your alt account in ranked or any events. They fixed that a long time ago. So accusing me for something I did five season seasons ago is kind of rude. So we do have a screenshot of playing against an alt multiple times, which he claims you can't do this anymore. So you would then think, okay, what's the next step of exploiting the cross play being turned off? Well, maybe you're not playing against just your alt or your friend. You're just playing against Xbox players which would in itself, I would say also be a massive exploit, which I didn't even initially say play against yourself. I feared that just being able to play against other console players only instead of a global event, that was enough for this to be a big exploit that was a big issue, which I couldn't believe that Konami actually let this go through. What the hell? Self win streak farming in the limit one event. Number of wins is, am I looking at this correctly? Consecutive wins, 329. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 329 win streak. Does that sound like a legitimate player? Anyone that would put the effort to duel themselves 329 times outside of the Duelist Cup, would it be outside the realm of possibility that someone that's willing to duel themselves 329 times would try to potentially exploit the Duelist Cup. Maybe, I don't know. You, that's up to you to tell me if you think that's reasonable to potentially at least want Konami to further investigate this. Look at my consecutive wins in this Limit 1 event. Nothing special to be honest, you know, to be fair. He said he's not bragging, okay? he. I never bragged about it. He says that it's, there's nothing special about having 329 wins in a row. It's not, it's not bragging, it's not bragging. It's like humble brag, you know? Uh, I'm only uh, six feet two, uh, you know, uh, not a big deal, uh, a giant PP, all, all's good. <laughs> there's nothing special to be honest. I bet he is mad losing to me all the time since he has to play against me, El Mayo, okay? El Mayo, what the hell, 94% win rate. I could literally just make a meme montage about him quitting against me. That's obviously not real, Kev. This Limit 1 event I played up to 320k points, that's 640 wins for free. So this dude's a little sus. 
that's how he does it. Nothing special, to be honest. And I it will show the screenshot. Did you just get seven wins in a row against the same guy? 300 wins in a row against my own account. Oh, self-farming. One minute equal one win, basically. So if you don't know, the Duelist Cup is a 72-hour event with no restriction, no limit on the amount of duels that you're playing. And by the way, if, you, if you're just hopping in or you don't understand, this person got first place in the Duelist Cup. Someone who, is, who does 300 wins against their own account, one minute equal one win, and this dude just got first place, didn't even change his name in the Duelist Cup. Just straight up, I'm Jera. Let's go. Apparently, you could see in his screenshot that he's got uh, multiple Xboxes or multiple consoles to, he's got the setup to duel himself. He's got the setup. I don't really, <laughs> this dude's ready for the Duelist Cup. I don't really, these are a bunch of bottles or trash on his, uh, his couch, okay? And he's got the multiple console setup to be doing the Duelist Cup all day, every day against himself. Which uh, again, I'm not accusing him of doing it. It's just, this is what this dude's posting. So this is from Reddit. On our master duel, nope, not at all. I turned crossplay off to see how many people would be playing on the second stage. I played about 10-ish games and six of them were with him. And two were with AFK bots and other was with a random guy. So this guy is saying that he's confirming himself that the turning off crossplay for stage two in fact worked. That Konami did not put a measure against this. This is something you could do at minimum play against only Xbox players in stage two. While the person who farmed himself 300 plus times previously says that you can no longer farm yourself, Bug Bug is saying you could at least play against only Xbox players and he played him about 10 uh, six of them were about were against the guy that got first place because there's only 10 people playing Xbox anyway that are at the Duel's Cup level max. Actually untrue, population on Xbox off is tiny. Crossplay off, can't play versus Xbox with crossplay on, so you're not fighting versus the full Xbox population, just a subset of the already smallest population. What? So hold on, we have a hundred people playing on Xbox. That's the total amount of players probably. And if 10 of them have crossplay turned off, then you're only playing against those 10 people is what he's saying. So you're already within a small subset of players. You're playing an even smaller subset of only those that have crossplay turned off, which would be a massive oversight from Konami which I would expect from Konami because the mobile release of Master Duel is the, the worst thing I've ever seen. You would think that a multi-billion dollar company would have their shite together, apparently not. So I would say this is within the realm of possibility of Konami being this incompetent to have crossplay off, only play against crossplay off, literally not even other Xbox players in general. So you're put into this pool of tiny players where almost nobody competes at all. And Xbox players, X, whoa! Xbox players in general, are super casual. He self-admitted, and while admitting it, he states that he was not bragging. There's nothing to brag about, to be honest, while farming himself. Wow, this guy's a joke. I don't know why we include that in the photo. I played against Jera so many times. He is probably the least fun I've had in the game. The one time I was about to win, he time stalled and called me a pussy for using anti-spell <laughs> fragrance. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's not wrong. Now, I turned off crossplay to see how many people I'd be playing, and six of my duels were against Jera, and two were against AFK bots. So, Bug Bug is apparently a legitimate player that turned off crossplay not to have an advantage, but then ended up playing against the first place player over and over and over again, where, you know, it, it's just, it, how much more could it be said? You have an Xbox player base that's already a minority, then you have players on Xbox that are dual level max, and then also players playing at that certain time, and players playing with cross player turned off. It's just so minuscule that in 10 duels, he dueled the same person six times. Apparently this is the player that got first place. And this does show definitively that you can in fact turn on cross duel for just playing against Xbox players in the event. 
Now, looking at this, it doesn't look like he's playing against anyone in a row, right? Fizzy, Z Marshmallow, uh, I Ruin Kaijus, I Run Kaijus. Same. <laughs> Same. <laughs> okay, I guess he's just looking at the players. Okay, that's a Platinum player he's playing against in the Duels Cup. He's playing against a Gold player. He's playing against a gold player. So this dude got to farm gold players in the Duelist Cup, allegedly, uh, and platinum. Is anyone even diamond? <laughs> like, He's saying what? No diamond ones. No. He's, so he's laughing that he, everyone he's playing against is not even diamond one. So this was during the first stage. That is the first stage. Okay. So he's not showing Duelist Cup stage two though. But that does show that you could do this within the Duelist Cup. <laughs> Even more cheating on top of the other cheating was a player called Touch Grass. This player was second place. Konami has dealt with Touch Grass. Now, how do we know Touch Grass was cheating? Well, they openly admitted it. So let's look at this. I mean, my opponents lost fairly. It's not like I can manipulate my hand, LFMAO. Most cheat developers make their money from selling the exploit, but they disabled it for the Duelist Cup so that Konami would not patch it. I did you guys a favor. Now Konami knows about the exploit. It's mainstream because of me. And yeah, I was just trolling the Duelist Cup. So you could choose if this dude's a hero or not, but he's got a history right here of admitting to the cheating. So I think this is where uh, it starts off. Let's go on here real quick and then we'll move on. Page three, I got removed from the Duelist Cup. F in the chat, boys, I could finally touch grass. I never faced you. I don't have anything against DK. I just wanted to troll. I wanted to be low key. So his name was going between touch grass and uh, DK. Uh, Smegma, I think. I'm, I'm <laughs> circumcised by the way, so it's not a thing. Also, if you guys are wondering, they didn't ban me. That's crazy. This dude did not get banned for using an exploit just removed my rankings from the leaderboard. I could actually still play in the Duelist Cup and rank. Uh, that's like Konami, maybe a Konami intern just like pushed a button to remove him and didn't have the power to ban him during the Duelist Cup. Because what's funny is Konami expects you to play for 72 hours straight, but then they don't actually have any employees working within the 72 hours because that would be unreasonable, right? To actually ensure that people are not cheating. Also, I didn't have any ill intentions. The cheat does not harm the opponent whatsoever. Like I said, I could have stayed low key about this, which he could have stayed low key and then we probably would not have caught it. So let's see this page two, I believe of him. I'll just sum up w what this cheat was. So what this cheat was, was he what, there you go, he explains right here. The cheat prevents you from taking a loss by preventing certain function calls that are called whenever a duel is ended. So I'm just going to skip past all of this nonsense. You could pause and look through it yourself and there's another page. What happens is if he duels you and you beat them, you get the win. You get the win, you move on. But he would activate his exploit where on his side, he would not get a loss. It would count as disconnecting before the duel began, but the duel did begin and he legitimately lost to you. So he was right in the sense that if he beat you, he beat you. But if he lost to you, he wouldn't take the loss, but you would still get the win. So you would not be harmed in any way whatsoever, unless you're literally competing for the top spot of the duels cup and he takes your spot, but then Konami caught him. Okay, so that's what happened with this dude. Third party hack completely different than the Xbox, Xbox exploit that we are going to talk about or already did. Now we have another player called Slifer. Slifer is another player top 10. Look at that top 10 Slifer in the Duelist Cup. What a mad lad, very good player. Slifer is also playing on Xbox. It's just these Xbox players are so damn good. It doesn't matter since it's all on the same server. Okay, found it. Okay, the other thing you do have a record of your matches. The time in between matches should prove it. The magic of Xbox is people will surrender at the slightest inconvenience, and I do. I was showing it to one of my friends earlier when I kept matching up with the same guy and he kept surrendering during my initial climb. So when was this? This was in May. So again, these are not Duelist Cup photos. I, 
I think a lot of these players, they realized that during the Duelist Cup, or before the Duelist Cup, that this is a thing, and they're like, wow, I struck gold. Let me try this in the Duelist Cup, allegedly. Which friend? And then Slifer posts the photo. He's not in the MD Discord, but his name is Jim. So this is the photo of Slifer himself playing against Jerry, who's also, I guess, short for Jim. So this is from Slifer playing against the same person. Turn one, back in May, which matches up with the screenshots, Xbox only, pro, pro assassin versus Jerry. Wins game one, wins game one, wins game one. This is crazy, this is ranked. Something like this completely invalidates ranked if Konami doesn't fix it. Even worse when it extends to stage one of the Duels Cup, which I have seen people doing that. And now for stage two, that's the only thing I don't have definitive proof that people were doing it in stage two besides the Reddit person and these same players just so happened to be the ones in the top rankings. The only non-Japanese, non-Chinese players within the top 10 happen to be playing on Xbox and have bragged about playing against the same person or farming their own account on Xbox. I'm just connecting dots here. That's all, all allegedly. And then that goes back to, you know, what I was saying earlier. So that is where we are right now. Oh, the Slifer player, we have more stuff before he deletes it. This dude, who likes to play against the same person over and over, Slifer, he likes to post on Reddit uh, about his win streaks. He's very... <laughs> highest win streak with Flandries. Uh, what's your highest login win streak? He even likes login win streak. He just loves win streaks. Hi, I've been messing with Rose Tenyi before the Brave Token. Just, you know, 14 win streak, not a big deal. Xbox player only, by the way. What's your highest win streak in the season so far? Oh, I've just got 30 win streaks right here. Not a big deal. It actually does pretty well in, on Reddit because then people want to know what your deck... Bro, what's your secret? I'm an Xbox gamer. <laughs> Wiping the floor with diamonds. 20 win streak. Damn. Xbox gamer. <laughs> this dude should be sponsored by Xbox. Highest win streak before next season. 26 win streak. On Xbox. All right. Do win streaks carry over? 50 win streak and plat. Th this is all from the same guy. He's just this good on Xbox. <laughs> 50 win streak. I lost after this was El Mayo. He couldn't get 51. Damn. So there you go. I guess that is the full controversy of what's going on. And again, I'm not accusing of this, this player of cheating. Just Konami, look into this. What the hell is going on? I mean, he, he's playing a good deck, obviously. That's a deck worthy enough to get first. But I don't know. I don't. Where are the other Rose Tenyes up in here? Because people started playing VFD to counter Dark World and Amor and Droplet within the event. It, and what the heck, this Andy Mion deck also? So again, not accusing this player of cheating, just showing their history, their past history of admitting to cheating in other events and on Master Duel and showing another player doing the cheating and other people talking about being able to turn off crossplay, then only play against Xbox players. And then also my fear of people doing this before the event started. This is before the event. I talked about this, then I can't believe it actually happened. Unbelievable. And there you go. Cheating in the Duelist Cup. Let's go.